Ivan the producer. How's it? And welcome back to The Nest. I'm Aaron Seipel, Sports Information Director, giving you highlights and a little preview of what's to come in Eagle Athletics for next week. So let's get right into last week's highlights. The Eagles headed down the hill to wrestle against Arizona Christian, and the Eagles would fare well. Although they lost the duel 16 to 27, the Eagles rolled off four straight wins. Bo Blackham would win four to three and 157 pounds. Taylor Owens riding a hot streak. We went eight to two at 165. Daniel Butler was dominant in the 174 pound weight class, winning eight zero. And then TJ Hall would cap it off with a pin. Women's basketball played Thursday night against La Sierra. Jasmine Malatino Faga scored 13 in the first quarter. She wouldn't score the rest of the game though. And the Eagles would need a strong fourth quarter to hold off LSU as they cut it down to six. But Nudson would match Faga with 13 points to win 77 to 60. Men's basketball taking on the Golden Eagles. Nick Johnson with a corner triple here. He finished with 27. But it wasn't his night as Gilbert Ibarra would steal the show. He would score a career high 28 on the Golden Eagles, scoring on all three levels with the pull up, the deep three ball. And it helped the Eagles win 95 to 89. ERAU had a tough time with number 23, University of Antelope Valley. Jenna Nudson's gonna notch herself a double double with 15 points, 10 boards. But ERAU is going to lose this one 75 63. In the second leg of the doubleheader, men's basketball would stay right with UAV for the first half, only trailing by two going into the break. Ibarra's going to score 15, and Nick Johnson's going to put up 23, but it's not enough as the Pioneers start to run away in the second half. Eagles lose 89-63. to So there you have it. Those are the highlights from last week. Busy weekend ahead for the Eagles, so let's give you a little preview of what's to come. On Thursday, both men's and women's basketball will head to Vallejo, California to take on California State University Maritime. Friday, we'll see the first track action of the season. It'll be an indoor tune-up at Northern Arizona University. Also on Friday, men's wrestling will be at the Cascade Collegiate Conference Championships presented by US Bank. Last year, the Eagles were the number one team in the conference and came out as the champions. Softball's gonna head down the hill to take on Ottawa Spirit in a doubleheader. Saturday, men's wrestling will continue at the conference championships. Softball will play Park University in Gilbert at 12 p.m. Finishing out the busy day on Saturday, women's basketball, men's basketball will play a late one. The women start at 8 p.m. against Pacific Union, ending their regular season. Women's and men's golf will be at the Westmont Spring Invite on Monday and Tuesday, Sandpiper Golf Course. So that does it for this week's edition of The Nest. I'm Aaron Seipel, Sports Information Director, reminding you to follow us on social media. Give us a subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. We'll catch you next week. Peace.